Hey y'all, it's Ashley Yvette and I'm back with another press on nail tutorial. If you want to see how I get this multi-design French tip look that is so popular right now, keep watching. Okay, so you guys know we're starting off with bare nails. Mine are crusty and rusty, so of course I had to buff them down, clean them up before I actually put the press-ons on. I'm using my ombre nails, so you guys know with that I don't have to do any sort of priming. I don't need a base coat. You can just get right to it because they are full gel nails. That's why I love them so much. I'm going in with this ASP polish that I got from Tyler Beauty Supply. It's a gray nude color. It's transparent and it's just good for any type of French tip or tip designs. So now I'm going in with white polish. I have my striping brush and we are going to start to create the cow print look. And you guys have seen me do this before. I've told you I'm still learning everything this is a little blurry so you have to excuse me for that still getting my focus in the frame worked down but basically what I do is I create two diagonal lines and then I go through the diagonal line and I create a curve and that is how you get that French tip very easy to do practice makes perfect and I feel like mine have even gotten better from the last time so if you like this make sure you go ahead and like the video because you're already watching if you made it this far and you're just going to continue to watch me to do this. Okay, so as you see, focus is a little bit better now. After I create the French tip, I just go back in and I don't use the striping brush. I just use the brush straight out of the bottle of the polish. And I go ahead and just go over everything. Now you see me doing the same thing. This time we are creating that smiley face design. And it is the same technique. And now we are doing the French tip, but this time we're doing it for the cloud design. So going in with that blue first, and I'll go back over it again with more blue after I cure it the first time. And then we will start doing the clouds after that. But we have to get the base for all of the French tip designs first. Same technique this one is going to be for the all-seeing eye I have seen this design so much on Instagram it's really trendy and it's so cool how people use that design and create other designs within it it's just really nice looking and it's definitely a 90s vibe so you'll see me using this a lot as I get better at actually creating that design it's not as easy as it looks but I just think it's so cute And as you can see with the French tips, it's trial and error. Sometimes I go down too far and I have to correct it, but it's all about rounding it out and make sure that it looks even and that it's in, you know, a symmetry and <laughs> needs to look even and balanced on both sides with the curve. It 
and with this design I didn't do the traditional striping or the diagonal lines and then curving it out for the French tip because that's not what it was given so I'm doing kind of like an army print or I just call them they look like nerds like the nerds candies so I'm doing that but in a French tip way and for that it doesn't need to be a straight line or a curve it just kind of make it look a little funky it's supposed to look a little off that's the purpose of the design but it's still giving that french tip illusion So at this point, I've already cured the nails and gone over with an additional coat for the other four nails. And now I'm just going back in to this design and adding the second color. We are starting off with a cow print design and the actual cow print is different from the squiggly line army print nerds look that I did on the other nail. So this is more, it doesn't have as many curves, that's what I would say. So there is a direct difference and I like to see the diversity in that. <laughs> so you can tell the difference between my squiggly little nerds army print nail and the cow design. So now you will see me doing the smiley face nail, which was harder than it looks. The eyes were easy to do, you just have to make sure they look the same. But the smile line was so hard for me to draw that I ended up having to do this off camera. I did it like two or three times. And um, yeah, it just wasn't as easy as I thought. I definitely will use a different tool next time. I'm still working on my line work and perfecting that. So, you know, it won't look perfect, but it still looked good at the end of the day with all of the other designs. And now it's time for my favorite part, which was the clouds. I love this design. It is so pretty. Something about that blue and adding the white little clouds. My clouds weren't perfect, but they just look so good at the end of the day. I think imperfections are a part of art and nail art is art. So don't beat yourself up if you don't get everything right. I know I was really upset about my smiley face nail, but as I mentioned, once everything was done and the nail set came together, it looks perfect. Please excuse the flipping of the nails, but I had to turn things a certain way depending on where I was at because I just wanted to make sure I got everything perfect depending on the design as well. So right now I'm doing the all seeing eye. This was also one of my favorites. Wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be to draw those circles. Again, I don't know if it's my tool, still working on my line work, but they still came out looking great. Very simple design drawing one circle and then dotting in the middle and just making sure that you leave enough of the white space so it looks like an eyeball.
And here I am going in with that last color to just add some dimension to this nail. So you guys already know, I love the top gel coat, the nine wide kind from Opre. It's my favorite, the Holy Grail. And we're just gonna top it off. This is always my favorite part. It always comes together once you put the top coat on. It just shines bright like a diamond. Now, of course, after you do your top coat, you just go in for a cure, the final cure, and voila, everything will be done. These nails were such a hit. I got so many compliments on this nail set. Please remember guys, if you would like to order, follow me on Instagram at the underscore nail drip. I only charge $25 to make press on sets. So it doesn't matter the length, doesn't matter the shape. I'm also located in Los Angeles for pickup or drop off or I do ship worldwide. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time guys, stay fly.